Merry Christmas, you filthy animal! Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and another Vlogmas. I decided to do a Get Ready With Me Holiday Edition since a lot of you guys have been requesting that I do an updated Get Ready With Me and do my makeup, so brought that to ya. I also will be having a part two very soon on how I do my hair with this blowout style that I just think is the cutest thing ever and it was the easiest thing ever, okay? It was the quickest that I think I've ever done my hair and it looks like I went to the salon. Unheard of. Anyway, today we're focusing on this glam that I did for the holidays because why not? It's super simple and yet super festive and it's very wearable for Christmas, New Year's, even if we're all just at home in lockdown, quarantine, you know, why not? Why not glam? Why not do your hair, dress up, do all the things, and still be in the spirit? Be sure to keep watching if you want to know how I did this glam, and let's get ready together. So first, I'm going to go in with some primer. I already have my moisturizers on, so the primer that I'm using is the SPF 30 Sunscreen Pure Canvas Primer from Laura Mercier. I also like doubling up and doing this La Mercier blurring one as well, mostly in the T-zone area, so we're just gonna, and I just like tapping this one in, it just like instantly mattified my face, <laughs> and I'm just adding some lip oil. Let my lips stay moisturized throughout this whole process. Now let's start the makeup. I'm just going to use some concealer on the eyes. Nothing new. But I'm going to drag it all the way out since I don't have any foundation on just yet. I'm just going to lightly set. For the eyes today, we're going to be taking the Dominique Cosmetics Latte Palette. These are like holiday shades, like from fall to winter transition. These are all the colors that I think of. I'm going to take Caramel, which is this color right here. I'm just going to use it as my transition shade, so all in my crease. So the next shade that I'm going to use is Hazelnut, this color right here. I'm just going to place this directly into my crease. I'm going to use Laura Mercier's Caviar Stick in the color Vanilla Kiss. Just placing this on like two thirds of my lid. So on top of that, I'm going to be taking this shade Vanilla Cream. Just taking a little bit more of that hazelnut color and like winging out the outer part of my eye. We're not done with the eyes just yet, but I am going to add my lashes already, which are just Ardell Wispies, the regular Wispies, not the Demi regular. The amount of lashes that I lost from those false lashes. Tragic. Absolutely. Tragic. This is also the first time that I'm putting on lashes since I got my sty on this side. I'm a little nervous. It's been two weeks. It's been two weeks. It's been about one week since I had this dye, but so just a little nervous. Like I said, we're not done, but we're gonna move on to the face. 
before we finish off the eyes. This foundation right here, mm, it's the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation, my favorite ever. Also really love the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk, but because it's more on the holiday glam glam, we're gonna go medium to full. This is definitely medium to full coverage. Armani is more on the lighter side. That's more of like a daytime. If you're trying to do like a day tonight, this, this one's for you. I love it. I have the shade Stromboli. Always bring it down to your neck, especially if you are dressing up and wearing a very low neckline like I already am. Going in with some cream contour. This is Secret Camouflage from La Mercier. I'm using the shade SC7. I also just used the darkest shade in here to contour my nose. Concealers. These are the two that I love using. This one's the Becca Ultimate Coverage in the shade Banana. The second one that I use to brighten up just a tad bit is this one from Laura Geller. It's the Spackle Concealer in the shade Light. I go in with the Becca one first in all the areas that I just want to brighten. And then I go in with the Laura Geller one, and I just put it under my eyes to brighten it up closest to the inner corner right here, and then also to brighten up my nose contour, and I bring it up the sides of my nose as well. Laura Mercier Transition Powder, always. Bronzer, also Laura Mercier. This is the Soleil One Matte Bronzing Powder. gonna add a little bit of baking underneath my bronzer to clean it up. Now going in with some Benefit What's Up. I love using this underneath my highlight because it just lets the highlight stick so much more. And it lasts and just looks so creamy on the skin. Now going in with some blush. This is my literal favorite blush. 
This is Kylie Pressed Blush Powder in the shade Crush. This is the one that came with her Valentine's Day collection. Maybe she does sell it separately, I don't know, but I'm almost out, so I'm gonna have to find out myself. Like, just look how much better this looks with blush. Now for highlight, this is Addiction, also from La Mercier. I'm just gonna wipe off this excess powder. Now we're gonna finish off the eyes before I finish off my brows. I'm gonna go into this macchiato shade and put this on like the inner corners and kind of blend it towards the lid. I'm also going to add a little bit of this glitter eyeliner from BH Cosmetics. This is the shade Rapture. I'm just going to add a little bit of... A little bit of that. All I use is this Gimme Brow from Benefit. I love it. I use the shade 4.5 and I just run it through my brows. I'm going to use some of this Pixie Glow Mist to set everything. If you don't like being dewy, I don't recommend this because this makes I like it because it sets all like the powders in I feel like and it really does make your skin feel dewy so if you're on the oily side probably don't want to use this but I like it it makes me feel glowy <laughs> and then of course the OG Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray lip time I'm using Matte Cosmetics lip liner in strip down and this Revlon Kiss Plumping Lip Cream in the shade Nude Honey. Thanks for watching. I love you all, and I'll see you guys for another Vlogmas very soon.